Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew Friday edition <laughs> <laughs> on Saturday. Yes, you did see the Bad Apple demo. I think that was like the 512 kilobyte version. Very big. Very, very big. It's like a movie. This, It's like this little mini movie that's completely black and white silhouettes. And people have ported it, are trying to port it to like every single video game system okay is that what was playing in yeah that's that black and white oh, okay. pattern thing gotcha um because it's kind of like a challenge to do it and okay. like the 2600 is a big challenge yeah. to, to make a movie on it yeah. and it's done just using the playfield graphics which are pretty big blocks blocky yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so it's like 40 across by what's well, whatever 192 divided by four is mm -hmm. so yeah um, 45, so 40 by 45, very low resolution. Okay. Very low resolution. Mm. Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew. <laughs> <laughs> Distracted me, yeah, I suppose. Yeah. To, uh, that one did have sound, but I didn't want to put that sound on. I wanted a different sound. Um, this is where we play new games on classic consoles and specifically the Atari 2600 mm -hmm. until I upgrade my Coleco and Intellivision, uh, to better output besides the terrible RF. <laughs> Um, but I think I'm, I, I've contacted somebody about Intellivision, but mm -hmm. they're getting some new hardware in, so they'll let me know. If they when, can upgrade. Yeah, mm -hmm. so that, that'll that be good. Yeah. And um, the Coleco one, I have to send off a Coleco to the person. Okay. He does not provide the hardware. He only does it himself. Okay. Probably for quality control purposes, mm -hmm. so you don't buy it and go, this doesn't work. Well, you just didn't know how to put it in. Mm -hmm. um, my name is James. And I'm I'm Tanya. Yep, so welcome to the show. We do the show about twice a week, usually, unless we're super busy. Mm -hmm. Wednesdays and Fridays, and today is Occasionally Fridays. on Saturdays. <laughs> We've moved the Friday to Saturday because yep. I was working on um, some stuff, working on a film of mine. So that's all done. Mm -hmm. So it should be smooth sailing, but sometimes it'll be shifted in time and dates. But anyway, you're here. You made it. Awesome. Thank you for tuning in. <laughs> Thank Take, you. Uh, using up your Saturday or mm -hmm. watching it later on YouTube. Yeah. Um, this week we've got five games. We've got uh, we've got a theme day to which I try and make theme days mm. where all the sh all the games kind of tie in together one way or the other. Last uh, f Wednesday's was work in progress games, and this this time it's Games that didn't get enough love, <laughs> didn't get a lot of attention in the forums or downloads or feedback to the developers. Mm. And I thought, well, why not? Why didn't they get a lot of attention? So we're going to take a look and see why they didn't get enough attention. Maybe, you know, they weren't promoted enough. I've heard a lot of people talking about two-player games. Okay where it's it's more difficult mm. because you have to have a second player you can't play it by yourself so it doesn't get a lot of play because not everyone has that second controller or second person to play the game with so yeah they're not around all the time right yeah. so sometimes you know and it's hard to you know program ai into games especially on an atari mm. you can program basic stuff is like head directly for the player yeah but yeah. like going around walls that's a little bit mm. more advanced and it just doesn't quite have enough processing power sometimes to do that to, to really give you good ai yeah. yeah or it's it's difficult yeah to do ai and sorry we're late today i had to feed the cats <laughs> it was only three minutes late yeah um but uh if i don't feed the cats before the show and the show overlaps with their with, when they get their the lunch, feeding time really. they'll be all over us like in our face now yeah. jumping over soundboards oh my god yeah. they yeah. will so what can you do <laughs> be trying to get our attention <laughs> yeah. that's for sure yeah um uh, mr frick said love frantic from last show oh my god yes that was an amazing game mm. i can't wait for um uh spiceware daryl spice jr to finish spicy and then complete uh, Frantic, which is going to be even better with his new developing uh, environment, Spicy. I love the name. Spicy. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like a C-based programming language. Mm. So to yesterday, was it? I got this. Oh. <laughs> Might have to censor that out. 
Yeah, I will. Um, in the post. Um, in the mail. Ah, okay. I got this. There we go. <laughs> it's, it's from Lulu. Um, let me get my notes up. This was a book that I ordered from mm. Lulu, and it arrived on the doorstep yesterday. I found it on my, you know, when I got home from work yesterday, and it was sitting in front of our door, basically exactly as you see it now. Like this. With nothing inside it. <laughs> Completely empty. Yeah. But sitting at our front door, so so clearly... Um, I mean, uh, it, it had, like... The paperwork the paper in it. In it. And, and, and nothing. And it's supposed to be a, <laughs> and it's supposed so, to be a book. Um, and and my suspicion isn't so much that someone stole it, which I mean someone could, could. have, but my suspicion is um, because the actual seal on it was just completely like this. Yeah, just open. Um, and it, it barely looked like it was maybe like there's not even anything ripped up from the cardboard that no. in transit the book fell out. So, um, but this... but way to go Canada Post for delivering registered Ooh. mail. Um, and not even, I don't even think they probably rang, rang the doorbell. No, so. they didn't. Cause I worked no. from home and there was no do doorbell ringing. Yeah. Um, I think they're embarrassed that this flap had been opened and I think the book fell out in transit. So I'm going to guess it fell out. It's in on transit. the bottom sliding so, around on a, a, <laughs> a post carrier yeah. truck. So we'll see. We'll see. Um, did you end up, uh, messaging Canada post or uh, com on, making a complaint or on Con Canada Post's website, it says contact, make you can't as the recipient complain it has to be the sender oh, okay because they have more information because it's yeah. about lost mail or damaged mail yeah because they have to talk with the person who sent it how did you send it how did you wrap it whatever yeah this was um atari 2600 programming for newbies <laughs> um uh oh, well. by andrew by andrew davy and it was published by dianoid through lulu press and i bought another book through lulu press but that one that one arrived that was um this one, Stella Programmer's Guide, also made by Dianoid. And that flap was open too when I got it. Mm -hmm. The top flap. But the book was in was there. Was still inside. So I suspect it's Lulu Press having terrible glue. Yeah. Terrible sticky glue. But you glue. can even you can even tell, like the glue, it does look like it adhered a little bit, but there's nothing on the internal flap here no. at all. Like nothing like showing that it actually stuck in the first place. It's fairly sticky, but I don't think it sticks well to cardboard. Like it just yeah. comes open with the heat. Or yeah. I don't know. Something like that. It's not yeah. not good. That's for sure. Anyway, contact Lulu and get that. Yeah, to... I already contacted Lulu, and and I told um, Dianoid in the forums mm -hmm. <laughs> that yeah. hey, maybe you should talk to Lulu too. One of your books went missing, and the other book that you also published mm -hmm. had a flap open. So, a little disappointed with that. So, um, yeah. no review of that book for a while. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't I don't know if I'll do a review of that book. Maybe yeah. I'll get another book. It was just for book. personal interest. But yeah, yeah, it's just personal interest. Yeah, and that I was sucks. talking with Ice Bosta yeah. um, on the Atari Age forums through a private message. And we we're talking about Aardvark that we played the other day mm. and how the Aardvark was made. It's a huge sprite mm. at the top. And it's actually done doing using two tricks to make it that big and that detailed. Because when you make sprites that big, um, I think they use the doubling effect to make it big. And what you can do is each line offset it by one so that the doubling, like it's two, two pixels wide. So the next line is offset by one so it doesn't look like it's two pixels wide. And it's also done using the six digit score display method where you use one player, then the next player, and then the next player, then the next player, and you change the graphics in between. Okay. So it's actually made up of a doubling of both the players. So it's like four players wide, and that's how they got it so big. Mm. And tons of animation. So it really, really cool. And mm. he was also talking about how sound is made on the 2600. And it's actually almost like programming a waveform. It's like turning off and on the sound, almost like moving the speaker manually. <laughs> it's like That's this. Interesting. Yeah. Because you can update things on the 2600 while the screen is drawing. Um, so you can modulate um, how loud the sound is happening. Um, but it's a little above my head. I'll have to read it a couple times 
and he only just sent it today so I didn't have a lot of time to read it but it's very interesting how the advanced techniques are done hmm. on the 2600 um, getting around what's the built limitations. in limitations yeah yeah to there. do because he is the guy who does all those um, sound samples like he did it on um, draconian he did okay. the voice samples on it. Oh, nice. Yeah, so how do you do voice samples on a system that does beeps and boops? Yeah. Well, you get down to actually doing digital samples and manipulating, manipulating the, um, the sound mm -hmm. second by second, millisecond by millisecond, That's actually. That's cool. Yeah. That's really cool. <laughs> um, so today we're going to be playing uh, Pickle, the five games Pickle, Dragon Racer Trials of the Worm, very long title, uh, Road Duel, Give me my pancake, <laughs> which has a great, great name. <laughs> great name. <laughs> That's a great name. Give me my pancake. <laughs> uh, and defend your castle. Mm -hmm. And the last two games are made by the same person. And Road Duel is made by a legally blind programmer. So I've got information about him too. So that will be very interesting. The first one up we're going to play is Pickle. And he's the guy who actually approached me saying, um, I'm not getting a lot of feedback with my game. Um, maybe you could put it on your show and talk about it and gave me the idea. Maybe I should do that with a bunch of games. Um, games that, you know, didn't get a lot of attention and maybe take a look at them and go, why didn't they get attention? Hmm. So we're going to analyze that today. Okay. So the first one up is Pickle, and it is two players, so I'm going to have to plug in another controller. Well, are you using the Genesis? Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, I love Genesis controller. So you will also get a your Genesis. choice. Okay. You want Genesis? I'm or fine with the Genesis. Infinity? I'm comfortable with it. I don't like your clicky one. I, I what, is, what is that one? that? Epics. Yeah, I don't like the Epics one. As okay. Much. I, do. I actually prefer it. It depends on the game, really. The, the traditional console kind of game kind of controller over the... Yeah. joystick but there we go but it depends on the game too it, it yeah. does i think this one's a fairly simple up down and fire button mm -hmm. um so let's take out the atari box and plug in your controller everybody can see that on the webcam oh, where's mine there it is let's fire up the atari Hold it long enough? Probably not. So you have to hold the B button down when you use the harmony card. Oh, yep, we're good. Okay. So let's get that going. There's pickle. Nice. <laughs> there we go. And this is actually a released game. This is out on cartridge. Okay. That's um, cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. So there we go. And this is the final version, but do not distribute. And this includes, there's a contest actually with this game okay. as well included. So he's, he's like, hey, maybe you can solve the, the contest puzzle because nobody has uh, What's the contest submitted. puzzle? Um, I will read about it. Okay. <laughs> um, and we'll, we'll play it for a little bit here. Let me just read the instructions. It is a two-player game only. Uh, Yes, I suppose it says all these tricks were done by Activision or older computers. So not new tricks. They have been done. A little shipping tape would have helped, that's for sure. Are you blocking me? Okay. Pickle Puzzle Challenge. Oh, here's the, the contest. The classic Sandlot game is now on the Atari VCS. Uh, be the first to solve the riddle and win a cash prize of $200. Maybe we can solve it. Maybe we'll get the 200 is I don't that... know if that's fair. We didn't buy the cartridge, so I don't think we should participate well, in getting the money. But if we solve the puzzle, it would be down to the first person who submits our solution. So should we try and... Why, that... Why is that door closed? It's not that... closed. Well, it's open. It is hot, 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 hot. Oh, yeah. oh, I did that. My fault. My fault. Um... La, la, la. Let's get to the game. The classic Sandlot game is now on the Atari VCS. Pickle is for two players and uses the joystick controllers. Players alternate between controlling the runner and the thrower. So you're... I'm the runner. You're the runner right now. Um, when the runner is tagged out while well, off the base, the players swap roles. So this is kind of... Well, it's in baseball, mm. right? 
you know, when you, uh, runners between first yep. and second, second, third, and they're throwing the ball back and forth and trying to trap them in the middle? Yeah. Pretty much it. Uh, the first player to steal 11 bases wins the game. Okay. Uh, gameplay instructions. The runner must be tagged while the ball, with the ball while off base, obviously. Uh, then the player switch rolls. Two, while throwing, if the joystick is pressed up or down, the top and bottom throwers respectively will re return towards their base after throwing. So I am the thrower. So I can move in all, actually all four directions and pick up the ball and then... So how does this work? I stay on base. Like you... I'm trying to get down. So your score is up at the top too? Well, you I, have to go I, back I, I've and forth. already scored two. Yeah, so you have to get back and forth. Oh, I can only go halfway up the screen. Um, throwers cannot uh, cross the midway line. Throwers cannot stall. Oh, there's a countdown. I must throw it every 12 seconds. Bottom left? Yeah. That's ding. And you got a point because I didn't throw it. Mm. And the runner must steal a base every 60 seconds. So you have a countdown in the bottom right. But I can't steal a base until you throw it. Yes, and that's why mine's lower. Yeah. Yeah. So if I throw it, let's see. Now you can run and, and there you got another point. And your time resets. But I don't mine understand. Doesn't. Are you trying to block me? I'm oh. trying to tag you out, right? Okay, yeah, I get it. So now I'm the runner because I tagged you out. Uh, first one to steal a bit. 11 bases wins. Runner's initial lead off towards de destination base is limited while the player throws the ball. Uh, P0 difficulty B. We're on both B right now. Occasional random throwing errors will happen, which, which is good. That makes sense. Uh, runner will occasionally fall. Uh, colors will turn black and the runner will be immobilized for one second. So it's possibility that... Gotcha. <laughs> that uh oh and you are exactly the same speed it looks like yeah so i could sit here but i only have eight seconds left mm -hmm. so i have to throw it oh, oh see there was a throwing error right that's cool mm. uh option to allow pegs where the runner is out if hit by a ball well off base so you can throw it at their head essentially you're out a uh, runner can step a can sidestep in this mode so you can avoid the ball. Okay. I don't... This... Uh, let's see. And the prize. Uh, be first to solve the riddle, win a cash prize of $200. Runner-up wins a Sega Genesis controller <laughs> <laughs> with Mario Lemieux Hockey. I'm guessing that's a Sega game. Uh, submit the following information to an email address to enter. Good luck. Okay. A photo of the TV screen showing the Easter egg screen. So sometimes you, somehow you have to get to an Easter egg screen. Okay. Usually it's with the programmer's name or... Yeah, yeah. Uh, provide in writing the solution and complete explanation of the riddle. Keep the solution a secret until the winner is announced. So somehow there's a way to get something different on the screen. Mm. Okay, so it's game over. So let's start it up. So we're on B mode right now. Yeah, so I am throwing. Come on. Oh, oh I you pegged your head. Oh, yeah, I'm on option B. Okay. Oh, and I'm the runner now. Oh. One point. Oh, my goodness. Two points. Three points. Oh, what happened? I got you. Did I fall? <laughs> I don't quite get it. Oh, I see. See, this is okay. I'm I'm doing it in entirely the wrong way. Ah. I'm waiting you out because you have to throw the ball in 12 I seconds. Do. Yeah. don't entirely understand this so i gotcha. can see what the problem is <laughs> <laughs> that i can just wait you out well forever so, that is so you can wait me out here but then i can just throw throw it back i i guess i get that and then so you you just sit in the middle i don't yep 
So then I have to get it and throw it back? Yep. But then that doesn't make any sense. Then you just sit in the middle the whole time. Yeah, I can sit in the middle the whole time, wait for you to throw it, and then move down. But then you have to catch it, and then, oh, you got me. Yeah, that's, that's exactly it. I am definitely going to wait you out every time. But you have to see, yes, yeah, so you have to catch the ball. Because so I why understand. wouldn't I wait you out? Yeah. Because I'm wasting your time, right? And I'm not going to run until you throw it. Yeah, but then you just go right back. Ugh. See, I got you. See, it's it's confusing to know. Who, who is in the position to tag you out? Do you know what I mean? Is it? Yeah, no. I find it very confusing. I'm not sure who, who on what side. Yeah, but you have to be, like, if I throw it, that's what I'm confused about, is, is who, who is in the position to tag oh, you out? The guy with the ball at the top. You have to tag me out. And if you want to tag with the guy at the bottom, you have to throw it to the bottom. This is this is incredibly confusing, uh, and and I don't like the fact that it just suddenly switches switches who you're in control of. As soon as you throw the ball, it throws it definitely to the other side, so it has to switch over to the other dude because you have to go pick up. No, the ball. I know that, but sometimes I've thrown the ball to the dude, yeah, and it's like I can't tag you out because you have to have the ball first in your hand. No, no, I know, but you have the ball in your hand, but you can't tag the the guy out because it's just bizarre. Well, let's practice without. Play. No, 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 play it. I just, I, I find it extremely confusing. I can see why people don't necessarily, like, I, I, I just sit here. What's the point of me doing anything? Well, you definitely cannot run. But I have three seconds left. Um, and then you have to get the ball. Yeah. Because if I don't throw it, I'm definitely going to lose. But if I move now... It's definitely a waiting strategy game. And it's, and it's mostly about waiting for errors. And I, I, like, I don't, I don't, I honestly, I don't understand the strategy of it. Oh, the strategy. You understand the gameplay. Though. I understand the gameplay. It's just the strategy is, is very confusing. Like, I find it very confusing. I'm like trying to figure out, like, I, I might as well just sit here. Yes, you do. Because you can't get past me. And then I throw it and then I throw it back. But yeah. I made an error, so... my best strategy is to wait out your clock and then throw it at the last second and wait out your clock again. And you definitely can't get past the guy at the top. There, I got you out. You can't get past half point, so there I run. And then, nope, I'm going to run back and get as close as I can to you. Yeah. Oh, see, I got too close. See, that's what I mean. It's it's very confusing. <laughs> like, I understand in theory what's going on, but... Yeah. Three, two, and I have to throw it. I got mm. you. It's not bad. It's not bad. move down any further there's a bug with how far the runner can go i well, can't i can't i can't move further than there yeah you're not why? allowed to move until you throw the ball oh you're allowed to move you're, you can't move down until the, the ball gets thrown but why not well that's that's why i find the strategy of this a little yeah confusing. that's that's confusing like the runner should be able to run anywhere at any time i think like, like why I, not? I can't move past there and, and why would there be a rule for that? I, that's that's yeah. why I'm confused. It's like, I I mean, obviously, I guess you'll just automatically be out. But if I moved now with the, with the ball in your hand, you, I, you would immediately tag me out. Definitely. So there's no point in me doing anything until nope. you throw the ball. Not at all. Oh, I can't get past you. Like, I can't. Oh, that's weird. Here. Like why can't I get past you? I yeah, see. This is what's. This is what I mean. I. I <laughs> That's a bug. I think. I'm finding this m pretty confusing. Oh, I fell. 
You <laughs> fell? Yeah. Uh, right. Oh. Like, I can't move past here. Yeah, what? That doesn't make any sense. Until I throw. Until you throw. Is he, pre like, the game is preventing you from making a mistake? Or. <sighs> I can't get past. If you didn't pick up that ball, I probably still couldn't get past. Like, you try and run right now. Yeah, you can't go past there. Like, Initially. Yeah, why I'm not? Trying to, I'm trying to figure it out. It's like you're on a base. Like, I'm over And you're here. waiting to run, but you're not... Like, why shouldn't you be able to run right now? I'm way over there. Right? Well, it's waiting for you to throw it, because it has to be behind you for you to run? Maybe. It didn't outline that in the rules, though. No. So now I throw it. And then I run. And then you throw it back. Yeah. But then what What also is annoying is that if your guy happens to be far to the left or far to the right, yeah. and you throw it, you can't move him. So he has to throw it within the general direction of your guy, and you may be really far from the runner. Yeah, you couldn't. You can't switch to the other guy to position to, to him. To position him either. So you have to think about before you throw it, where you are. Yeah. So that's where he will be. So it's best to be in the middle wet before you throw it mm -hmm. so that you're blocking but i'm just gonna wait you out for a second anyway i can't go past yeah so if i keep my guys in the middle ah of course there's errors yeah it's uh, i i'm still i'm still a little confused about what i should be doing like if i move see you just you just hit me so yeah, you have to wait for me to throw it. And my countdown timer is less than yours. Yeah. But then why move at all? Why let shouldn't. me go halfway? Oh. Oh, there. So that's an error. Ah! Yeah. I mean, there's a there's a programming bug as well. If you see um, the runner go yeah. up. A little, that little line. Oh, yeah, when he gets fatter, yeah, yeah, as you go. He shifts the other well, guy. Well, when you, when you cross from one screen to the other, it also uh, has that. Does it? Go down. Yeah. Well, I can't. Go there. down? Oh, Woo! it does. There's a couple couple places where that yeah. happens. So you won. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I mean, I don't think, I mean. In theory, it, it's a good, good it's game. It's interesting, but I'm still a little bit confused about some of the. Um, Strategy? Yeah. Gameplay is makes sense. Get to a base. You're going back and forth, and but you're stopped person. until someone throws. That I don't understand. And like initially, I would run, and but like, why would you run? It shouldn't even let you run directly into someone with the ball, right? If you have the ball and I'm down at this end, I just sit there. Yeah, you have to. I'm waiting for you to throw. You have to it. run along the baseline. Then I run, but you're throwing it to the guy directly in front of me. Yes. And and you're blocked. And I'm blocked, so I'm just gonna run to the mid screen. It's just, it's just a little strange. It's, it's, yeah. it's. Um, yeah. I'm if, sure if once you you've done it a few times, it's like okay, you do this, you do this, you do that. You know. So if you keep the throwers in right. the middle, it's very difficult for you to score, to get past. If I keep the um, the guys with the ball in the middle, you, you, there's no way you can get past. I mean, you have it, you have to wait for an error. That's the thing. Yeah, if I keep them like this and there's no errors, you'll never get past. No. Nope. Yeah, and I could have run back. Yes. You are the exact same speed as me. Oh, oh, oh I went too far back. <laughs> so it's just monkey in the middle. <laughs> yes. And, and timing out, waiting for a timeout. Mm-hmm. I can. I have to wait for you to throw it, and then I run. So it, it almost forces you to do things. As a runner, you have very little options. So, yeah. And it's all about errors. Yeah, and correcting as fast as you can for errors, which, you know, is fine. Mm -hmm. Lord Monkus, this is one of those games that is much better in real life as a kid than yeah, a video game yeah. or as an adult in real life. Yeah. Mr. Fix says, I agree. Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, let's try it with the other options. 
So what are Maybe the other options? Um, one of them, because the programmer said, make sure you use the other options. Oh, okay. Um, player zero, zero difficulty. The runner's initial lead off towards destination is limited. So this is, makes it unlimited. Oh, what okay. I just switched. So you can move and... Okay, so now you should be able to... Run up. Run up. So go for it. Go for it? Yeah. So there we go. And this might... Oh, oh you tripped. Is that what happened? Yep. What? I ran right through you. I think it's the ball has to touch me. Mm. The actual white ball. Maybe not. I've seen... I think I've tagged you. Come on. Oh, I tripped. Should have taken advantage of that. Oh, I tripped again. Ah! <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on. So if I back up a bit, then throw it. If Oof. you, yeah, see, it's yeah. it's a little it's a this little picky better. as to the ball, but yes, it is better. Yeah, this is better because that other option is like me. Come on, move, move a pixel. <laughs> Come on. Not a chance. Oh, oh you I tripped. tripped. Ran right into you. <laughs> yeah. Ah. This is better option. Yeah, this, this, this makes a lot more sense. It's a lot more fun. A lot more freedom. Oh. Yeah, I didn't like it before. I'm like, I'm very confused why I can't move. Yeah. And I'm like, what is my strategy here if I can't move at all? <laughs> ah. Whack. Whack. <laughs> Whack. Oh, oh, shouldn't have thrown it so early. Maybe if the throw timer and how far the throwing players can run off the bases in relation to the runner would be better. Um, this pretty much covers it. Oh, <laughs> I moved. That's yep. fine. This, this is, this gives you a lot of freedom. I, um, now the other option is a cat in the way. Yeah. Oh, there you can see the Say cat. hello, Pixel. <laughs> He's getting right in there. Okay, you gotta go off of there. Now this one, you should be able to sidestep a little bit as a runner. Because I can throw it at your head now. Oh! Oh yeah, I can. Side to side here. Psst, come on. Don't make us... <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh. <laughs> Wrecked it. Oh, that was cute. Was a little bit. <laughs> Would you like a cat nose? Yeah. Was that fun? Uh, That'll go on the funny. blooper reel. Yeah. Oh, this is. You have a lot oh, more. Oh, this is nice. This is good. Of course, you can pick me <laughs> in the head by positioning. Yeah. So I have to stay out of the line of the two people when I'm a runner. Please ignore the shiny pixel. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. hi, Pixel. Hi, buddy. Oh, oh, I didn't throw it. You got a point. <laughs> oh, oh, you I tripped. Fell. Ah. 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 Oh, good dodge. Oh, oh you weren't I on the base. Quite. I was, but then you I think the, you got me off. Yeah. I think you got the point. I think I did. Oh. This should be the default. <laughs> I got you in the head. This should be. <laughs> um, this is better. This, this is, is better. much better. Yeah. This is more fun. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's part of the problem, is if this were the default, then... Uh... But it's not. These are the A's, which traditionally <laughs> are not the default settings. Oh! Oh, yeah, this is more fun. Yeah. Oh, my God. Ha -ha. Oh, no. I think you're better at this option. Yeah, I was really struggling with the first one. Stop it, please. <laughs> oh, he's, he's crazy. Mr. Fix says, this is a much better version here. Yes. Yes. This should be the defaults are B yeah. usually, so this should be have been the default instead of both A. Yeah. Default is much too in favor of the thrower. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, oh, it was very yeah. confusing. Because the runner is just like, where do I go? I have to wait for you to throw it and get out of the way. Mm -hmm. Ooh, danger. Ah. Oh. It's the errors now. The errors. 
So I think this game's why this game didn't do as well. One, it's two player only. It is a, a bit complicated to just throw yourself into it. It, it yes, feels for like strategy. initially, for strategy. And, and and certainly with the first set of settings, I was like, I'm very confused. What am I doing? <laughs> like what when yeah. I'm running in particular? Right. What am I trying to do? And but I mean, once you start playing it, you get a sense of it. It's not so bad. And definitely, this set of settings is a lot more fun because yes. you have that movement. It's weird when all you can do is run in a straight line. Yes. Um, now the Easter egg, I bet, is something to do with the positioning of the players. I fell on the base. How is that even possible? And you weren't even moving. No. So let's both. No. Oh, so the runner can only go so, so far left and right. Ow! <laughs> Hit me in the head with the baseball. Oh, what? Ha <laughs> ha Error. That is the worst throw ever. <laughs> Funny. I have no idea how you'd get an Easter egg out of this. Like, somehow it's in the bottom left, <laughs> bottom right. Yeah. Maybe I have to get my thrower? I bet it, I have to do it, like, right across the screen or something. Maybe. Let's Maybe you have that. to hit me from across the screen. Here, so, corner to corner. Oh, yeah. I've just fallen in the middle. Whoa! Oh, that was something. Did you see that? Yeah. Watch this. Watch. Oh, it threw... It threw... Wrapped around the screen. Huh. Oh, did it? Yeah. See, that's a terrible throw. Yeah, Maybe you they can can't only throw, throw half, half a screen. Maybe. Let's try it from the other corners. No, you're just throwing oh, it. Oh, no. Oh, no, lost. I can't the get ball. it. The ball, Oh, no, the ball's on the other side, too. It's half on. Woo-hoo-hoo. Say bye-bye. Oh, it restarted. It restarted, the ball. I, I, I scored a point. It was like a it was like a error. So oh, it let me, no. it let me, once I scored on, a, um, on the base. Let me try that again and get that ball halfway on the screen. No, you oh, had that guy. Oh, I had it straight down. I think so. And then I couldn't get the ball. You couldn't pick it up. And it was halfway on the other side, too. Oh, oh, oh you, you can get it. it there. Okay. Interesting. Try it, try it from that side. Oh, no, you can't because the ball stays on the, on the right of the ball. Right. He, they're both right-handed. Mm. Oh, no, there. I can't... No, I think you can always get the ball. Hmm. That's not it. I have no idea. <laughs> How you would... Oh, maybe let's try this. Let's try throwing from one side to the other like this. No. Oh, they're just terrible at throwing. We're now looking for the egg. We are looking for the egg. I have no idea. Ah. So let's do left. Well, there's a riddle somewhere. So I guess there's there's also the question of what is the riddle. Yeah, what what is the riddle? What I is don't... the riddle? Is there a riddle in the um, manual? Mm, I don't. It must be in the manual. Yeah. Let's take a look. He did say try and solve the riddle, so I'm allowed to do it. <laughs> He didn't say don't try. Um, I think it's on my computer actually. Pickle. Was um, oh, it's hot. one of your friend's daughters called mm. our cat Pickles? Instead mm -hmm. of pixel, and we thought that's the when she cutest. was young. My friend showed a photo of of pixel to her young daughter, and she couldn't quite get pixel, so she called him Pickles the cat, which is is now our nickname for him. So. Okay, I think I've solved the riddle. Okay, in the manual, top left has a six on the shirt, a nine on the shirt in the top right, mm. a five in the bottom left and a 33 in the bottom right mm. how do we get that on the screen first of all the top ones are easy that's scoring we can do those very easy. six and nine six nine five thirty three the countdown timer in that's just order a countdown to, but does 
Do those line up? Not necessarily. Now I would have to throw this. How long is the timer? It's 12 seconds. To get it to five is seven seconds. So seven plus 33 is 40. I have to throw it at 40. The 40 mm. second mark of the blue. Mm. So we have to get the score up to nine. So you... Well... Let me... Six. We have to get it up to six and nine. So you get it up to nine. Then tag me out. <gasps> Seven. Oh no. Uh, try that again. <sighs> it's because of the timer too. Yes. You have to be conscious of the timer if you okay. don't throw it. Oh, if I don't throw it, yeah. yeah. So I'll throw it back and forth over here. La la la. <laughs> la, la, la. <laughs> You need to get up to nine. Keep going. Pretty far from nine. Ugh, come on. One more. Bad thrower. Okay, there you go. Now stay in the middle. Okay. Now let me run. You go throw it over there. No, get out get out of the way. I know, I know. I have to move it though. <laughs> Yeah. Get get out of the way. Don't accidentally tag me. Four. Five. Six. Okay, now go pick up the ball. It's on the base. Crazy. Well, that doesn't matter. Go get it. Okay. <laughs> throw it. And throw it at 40. Ready? Seven. Oh. Six. Five. Four. Three two, one, throw. Now it should go down to five and 33. Nope. Oh. Off by a second. Damn it. Continue. Oh, don't worry. I can just keep throwing it back and forth. No, because mine won't reset and w the score will go up. Oh, gotcha. So we have to do it on uh, 39. I have to throw it on 39. Well, it depends on when I pick it up though. No. Doesn't it? No. Depends when you throw it. Oh, okay. Okay. I, I Do the running. Sure. Mm, 39? You have to get nine of them. Yeah, we have to do it at 39. Or no. Don't forget to throw. 41. Don't forget to throw. <laughs> That's right. Oh, I didn't hit it. And I tripped. <laughs> <laughs> Is it 39? Is so that... 39. Is that one? Yes, 39. All right, I am at nine. Okay. Now you move out of the way. Get that ball out of here. Watch out. All right. There we go. You both, both you and I love solving riddles. Yes. And puzzles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this seems very obvious, but it may not be. And it may actually, not be as easy as it seems. And the colors of their shirts are exactly red um, and blue as well. You wanted six. Oh. You're at eight. <laughs> you have to pay attention when you're trying to solve puzzles. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> Physical puzzles. You have to, yeah, as much as we want to keep chatting, we, we actually do need to pay attention to doing yes. this. Maybe we're not that good. Maybe we just no, like doing them, but we're, we're bad at them. We kind of suck at it, but that's okay. Bye. Oh, trippy trips. Trip. Up. Up. Okay. Nine. You're done. Done. There we go. Now I'm running. Yeah, I only have to do six. We are looking for the egg, Mr. Fix. And if this doesn't work, I don't know what it is. So, so what, what? So, okay. where are we here? You have to throw it at 39. Oh, I have to continue to throw it, though. If uh, yeah. Careful. Yeah. And one more. Okay, get ready. One, zero, now. It should be five and 33. Six. Nope. Okay, nothing happened. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh Maybe. no, you're at seven. Yeah, I know. You need to be at six. No, it was no because the, you timed out. That's oh. why, I got another point. Because you timed out, it went down to see. I got another point. Oh, so it happened after the fact. Maybe that's the screenshot you have to, like that's the riddle. That's the thing you have to take a yeah. screenshot of. There we go. I don't know. I didn't see. I didn't find Nothing, an Easter egg. Usually, on an Easter egg, something happens. Yeah. No, I'm. I'm thinking something's off there. Yeah. Oh well. We've done know. what we can. <laughs> We've done what we can. <laughs> Noops, nothing happened. Yeah. That's fine. And this is also an emulated game. It's not the cartridge. Uh, true. Cartridges can be different, uh, but it's I It's an doubt emulated it. game, so the, it, it's possible. It's possible. Anyway. Um, it's un very unlikely, but it's, it is possible. Anyway, that's okay. I that's feel... That's okay. I feel like we gave it a shot. pretty good, yeah. Yeah. So now we're going to be playing uh, game number two, which is Dragon Racer Trials of the Worm. Mm. And uh, this one is also a two-player game. Oh, the first one, I don't think I said his name. Uh, Pickle was by E.A. Smith. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah. And it was put out on cartridge. Um, Dragon Racer Trials of the Worm. Uh, this is a work in progress. It's not done yet. Um, by Revan Tuli. Hopefully I'm saying that. Revan Tuli. Revan Tuli. Yeah. And this version is from 2018-06-04 build. So, so pretty, pretty recent. Pretty recent. A month ago. Yeah. So I'm currently finishing up two very large non-Atari coding project projects, and I decided to relax by making a nice, small-scale Atari 2600 game. I've done some experiments with Batari Basic before, but nothing I've been up for sharing. Uh, a What Atari Game Are You quiz gave me the result of Dragon Racer. <laughs> <laughs> so I decided to take that idea and run with it. Mm -hmm. Dragon Racer Trials of the Worm. Dragons compete to collect gems for their horde across a variety of locations. Oh, I'm liking this. Each new gem only appears after the last has been taken, mm -hmm. revealing a path through each treacherous track. Mm -hmm. The first to collect uh, 32 gems wins. Alternatively, a player might decide to run a tri time trial, in which case they must try and run through three laps of a track in the fastest time possible. Gotcha. The scoreboard will show how many gems each player has collected or the time lapse the players have uh, during the time trial. During the time trial. Gotcha. Um, select. Uh, choose track. As you look at each layout, you can see the gems revealing the path you'll need to take. Difficulty, left, right. Two human players is A and A, which I think we're already on. Good. A, B, human player, solo time trial. And B, A, human player versus fast AI, human player versus slow AI. It's, it's the last B, B. one. Yeah. Use your joystick to change the speed and direction of your ja dragon. Just moving mm -hmm. around. Pressing the joystick button will have a dragon breathe fire, which is somewhat steerable. Interesting. If a dragon hits a wall or opponent, their opponent's fire, they will disintegrate and reform slightly behind the next gem on the track, uh, stunned for a few seconds. So mm. this is like Mario Kart-ish, without okay. a track, and not being 3D. And there's fire. You're not jumping, though. It doesn't it's appear to be a no, jump, so you're just, just navigating. Okay. Yeah. The file is based on an 8K SC ROM. It seems to work fine on a good old Sixer, which I have, but I haven't tried the game on any other hardware. While well, I'm a little crap for new features at the moment, 8 K and 2000 cycles go quickly when you're having fun. Be curious to what people think of the speed, stun time, scoring, and other values in the game. Uh, many thanks to the people who, whose posts and helpful reference material I found through this site. Okay, so we are on. Ooh. Ooh, okay. That's oh, I am the green. Oh. You are the purple. Whoa. Perfect. Oh, oh don't hit the dragon in the middle. There's a lot of, uh, whoa, hey. Oh, you can, it's like directional. Yeah, I like the concept. Oh, oh no no! Once you're ahead, you get quite. You really have to fire stuff at him. Ah! ah! It's like a big bull's head in the middle. It's quite nice graphic. Ah! Gotcha. Oh. Thirty-two, nice. sixteen, and turns into a very nice dragon. Very nice. Yes. Actually, I like it. This yeah, is fun. <laughs> this is really good. So you just start over. Yep. Yeah, ready. Oh. It just starts over, like literally. Well, I, I hit the 
button. Oh, okay. You hit the button. Ah! Yeah. Ah! And it's easier to shoot <laughs> when you're behind because you're already pointed in that direction. If you're ahead, it's hard to shoot backwards because you have a, to turn around. Um, and and so uh, lots of momentum. Yeah, there is momentum, which is good. You've got yes. a bit of um. You have to work with the momentum. Like I said, that's why you accidentally sometimes hit the dragon in the middle. Yep. Is uh. So it's until you, you hit thirty. Did I win last time, or did you? I think. I think I won because it was thirty-two on the left. Really? I don't know. Yep, you're on the right. I think. Three. Yeah, you're on the oh. right. Your score is on the right. My score I'm on is on the, the right. left. Okay. It should be colored. I think that would make it a lot easier. So it's it's hard to sometimes hit the hit the the gem. It is because of the, the moment. momentum of the of ah, of the dragons. I forgot to fire at you. Ah. Keep... Ah. Yeah. This is actually really good. Ah. <laughs> it's a lot of dynamics to this game. How come I can't? You can't really fire all the uh, time? Uh, you can't fire if you're standing still. Oh, okay. Yeah. So in the middle when you're turning around, that's when I was trying to fire and it wasn't. Mm. But that's that's fine, I guess. Ah! 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 Yeah, like in Mario Kart, you can only send things ahead usually. You know not what behind. I'm noticing though is yeah. um, is on some of the the straight left right parts. Yeah, I I can't shoot here. Oh. It's interesting. It's, um, it's like. Let's try that out. Nope. Yeah. You can't shoot up you here. You have to you have to shoot when you're moving on an angle. Is it an angle? Let's. I want to try that up here. I have a hard time hitting them sometimes. Look at this. Look at the momentum. <laughs> Look at it. It's like you're floating. So you can't do it left and right up there. You can do it on the bottom. You can shoot while you're on the bottom, but really? not at the top. Yeah. Oh, that like, might see? be a bug. You can shoot down here. Shoot Let's here, see. but as soon as you get to the top, you can't shoot. Uh, at I'm not all. shooting straight though. I'm shooting down. Weird. See, yeah, when you're at the top, so there is, that must be a bug. I would think so. Otherwise, um, it, it doesn't would... quite make sense why you can't shoot. Oh, see, I just shot up there, but I was going, I was, I wasn't moving. traveling straight. So you should start moving So down, there is something can. a little strange about the, the firing, but it actually makes it interesting because it's not so straightforward. Yeah, but I think there is a bug at the top of the screen here where you can't fire at all. Should we let the cat in? Uh, maybe. You can try it. Uh, do you want to try one of the human versus uh, AI? Yep. I'm just going to step out for a second. Yep. So, so I'll let's be right back. try that. Which one? We'll go for the time trial first. Uh, which is human player A, B. The solo time trial. So this is me. Oh, what? Okay, start. There we go. So it's gems. Is it laps or gems, or is it both? Oh, there is a timer going up. One and lap. Okay, so it is time. But what are the gems doing there? Or do you have to... Oh, you have to collect all the gems, and that is a lap, not just going around. EA Smith. I'll, I'll wait for Tanya to get back in here. Hi, how are you doing? So 221. See if I can beat that. A little distracted and figuring out how to do it. Ah, damn it. I don't think I'm going to beat it. I think I did much better last time. Oh, I'm only on my second lap. Oh my god. Come on. Oh no, I've already. Uh, I've already gone past it. Along the top's easy because they're all in a straight line. There's some variation. Oh, I see someone's <laughs> taking my place here. Yeah, he's a new player. There you go. You can play two player. Second. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Yeah? Yeah. Can you see him? Oh, he's a little covered up. Yeah. No, he's, oh, he's actually he's okay on the top no, one. No, you can see him. Okay, so I got 221 for the time trial. Oh, okay. See if you can Sorry, beat I that. 
Oh, smack the mic. You gonna stay? You gonna stay? Am I gonna do it on your back? Yeah. Oh. Oh, sweetie. So you have to collect all the gems as fast as possible to complete a, a cycle. Yeah. Ah, 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 ah. And I got 221. Oh, I'm not gonna beat that. I'm <laughs> doing terrible. That was my job. first try, though. So second try, I did much worse. <laughs> it's it's if you have to go backwards, you're screwed. So. You are. It's just so much more time that you're wasting. Uh -huh. Along the top, it's just a straight shot across. So yeah, that's it's just when you have to when you hit the corners and you overshoot. Maybe they're all in the same place each time because it's like there and there on the left hand side. And yeah, I think them. there's probably a way to. It is the same each time. Is exactly it? the same spots. Oh, not bad. Uh, two fifty three. You can do oh. it again. Well, it's too late now. Ah. Oh, to... <laughs> I'm gonna reset it. I'm just gonna go boom. There you go. Oh. Press the button to start. It, it it starts, the timing starts before you can even it go. It does. That's not fair. A built-in little... Uh, <laughs> I'm doing terrible. Uh, yeah, EA Smith says we were very close. Oh, really? But we must look closer at the instructions. Yeah, there's probably some other aspect of it there. Yeah. Hmm... I'm gonna leave. We're gonna leave that for somebody. Yeah, we'll leave who it, for, it. So, for someone who has the cartridge. Fed because that. it's unfair. Because we were just given the ROM. We didn't pay any money for it. So, and I would feel bad if we solved it. And especially I'm, bad if we did it solve it. No, nobody solved it yet. Uh, okay. Yeah. No. So we I gave think that's, a bunch that's of hints. Unfair. Yeah, we did. So now we're gonna do the slow AI component. So this one sure. does have, have AI. Okay, I'm going to go mm. first. I'm going to have to drink. I already like the um, little sprite there. or It's not a sprite. I'm not sure yeah. what you call it. It's uh, a sprite. The little, the little computer AI sprite. Yep, shows you who you're up against. Oh, my God. This is slow. Shoot him. Shoot oh, him. yeah, I forgot. <laughs> Does he shoot? Oh, maybe he doesn't shoot. This guy's like, oh my god. Kitten! No! No, no, no! I'm gonna go again. Because I didn't, I wasn't shooting at first. Ah! Oh, you can't shoot on the top. You know why? Maybe because it's too easy to get the per get the opponent on the top. Because it's a straight across run. Yeah, but so is the bottom. You can shoot yeah. at the bottom. Oh my god, that's the... Oh, that's fast. Okay, I'm gonna play the slow. Watch, kitten. What are you doing? Looking for bugs. Oh yeah, he's much slower. Oh, you're fa actually faster than him. So the fast is just kind of fair. The, f the fair speed. Yeah, it's a fair speed. And this is like. And he just <laughs> randomly <laughs> ran into the. <laughs> And he doesn't shoot, which is also a bit of an unfairness. But he's still a good compo uh, a opponent. Com yeah, he is. New word. Component is competitor opponent. A competitor <laughs> opponent. So I did win on the slow. Yeah. So it's good that the fast is actually hard and the slow is yeah. like, mm, you can it, beat him. It, 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 it's a good way to practice too, right? Yep. Remember to shoot. Oh, I'm green, right? Yep. Hi, you can go up there. That's totally fine. Don't go on the, on the equipment. You almost got it. <laughs> Couple more. Couple more. Yeah. yeah. Not too now. bad on the slow. I don't even want to try. <laughs> yeah, you gotta play one. Hi, sir. Hi. BA. There we go. So, try a fast one. This one is hard, hard. Oh my god, kicking ass. Oh, for now. Oh, <laughs> and then it goes all crazy. Oh, still kicking ass. Oh my god. Nope, nope, nope. Oh. Nope. I hate it when you miss Only one. Only a couple more. 
Oh no, oh. now he's dead. Oh, you're so close. No, it's it's when you the moment you start going off track, it's so hard to backtrack. It is like It's like I think you can do it. I believe in you. I keep getting confused because I was playing pink for so long. Oh yes. And that always does Ah ha ha. Oh no. He's so fast. He goes right for it. And then you can't uh... And you can't shoot in the top. Maybe I don't think it's a bug anymore. I think it's part of it. Where it's like, nope, there's no shooting on the top. Wow, devastation. Yeah. I did better the first time. Mr. Fix says Ugh. very nice for a quick game. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah I, 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 I'm surprised. This is this is a game that would have been pretty awesome on the Retron 77, I think, actually. Oh, yes. Because it's a good one for... Um, Easy to pick up and understand and play. It's just a quick racing game. People are... Like, people who play modern games would be very familiar with, like, the Mario Kart yeah. racing aspect and yeah. shooting things it's at your opponent. It's kind of a nice little one to play. And you can play it with someone, too. So you can play back yeah. and forth. So, yeah. And as great AI. Yeah, it's good. I liked it. Yeah. Some things that could be added to it is um, bonus pickups, like other types of um, projectiles, like a homing missile one for a short period of time. Uh, but maybe that might too complicate it too much. Yeah. Just a banana peel, you know. A banana peel. <laughs> Yep, yeah. some tortoise shells. You know. <laughs> um, so let's move on to the uh, third game. That one was that one's great. Mm -hmm. That one's really good. Simple and fun. Um, yeah, very I think simple. maybe people got turned off because it's two player, but it's not. It has a one player. Well, and and it may just be again. Uh, you need the two players to play the two player, and so that's might not just get as much play as the single player games. Sometimes it's as simple as that. It's not necessarily a bad oh. game. Uh oh, what's going on? There we go. So the third game is Road Duel, and mm -hmm. this is just a single player, I believe. Okay. So you don't need that one. I'll be drinking my water because it's quite a warm game. <laughs> warm, warm day here today. So. It is. I'll let you go for it oh. while I get out the instructions. Oh, I get it. I thought something was shooting at me for a second. <laughs> I'm like, why am I getting shot is, at down the middle of the... The center line is shooting you. This one was put on uh, cartridge as well. This is made by uh, Stephen Wren Smith. Um, I take it I'm not supposed to hit these black uh, vehicles? Uh, I will get to it. Fuel. Um, Road Duel Instructions. Road Duel is a simple game. You basically drive and avoid other cars. That's what I was thinking. If you hit a car, it's game over. You collect fuel icons, F, that appear randomly. Once you have powered up your car, a bar at the bottom <laughs> of the screen will flash. Hit the fire button and you will rocket to the next level. Gotcha. The first stage is very easy, but it gets challenging after that. Uh, also, you hit the fire button to start the game. Um, so this, uh, the programmer is, uh, like I said at the top of the show, legally blind. Um, really? Which can range in variation of what you're able to see. I mean, there it goes from very limited vision, like yeah. low vision, blurry vision, dim vision, being able to see like through a pinhole or um, any variety, um, all the way to like nothing. Would, I don't know if they call them call people legally blind if they're actually just blind from birth, absolutely nothing. I mean, yeah, still, no, you're you're legally blind. It's just all falls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That? Okay. Legally blind, just yeah. I, I I assume if your vision is below a certain level. Yeah. You know. Oh. Terribly sorry. There we go. Was that the road duel? Yeah. No, they couldn't see anything. Oh no. <laughs> um. So you've just started over again. So there yeah. we go. Um, so he, I asked uh, to provide some more information about himself and and uh, how he programs, how he um, is able to do this while being legally blind. So I was asking, oh, what kind of special, did you have a special screen or something? Or um, So he says, about me, I'm pretty boring actually. I work at the Industries for Blind here in Virginia for 15 years as a purchasing officer. I bought stuff like toner and paper for the office. Um, and yes, I'm legally blind. I can see, but it's uh, I can see some, but it's limited. So that means I can't drive. And he made a driving game, which is very, <laughs> very ironic. Um, and I have trouble, That's a little awesome. trouble, getting around by myself. 
I also ran COBOL programs on a mainframe at the Department of Information and Technology. I did it through a T1 line around 1997. Nice. I did this when I was at Woodrow Wilson Rehabilitation Center. They trained disabled people uh, in order to find a job. I was trained for the Y2K bug that never happened. Yeah. Well, that's because a lot of people worked on it. <laughs> yeah. There were stuff that were that was going to fail, um, yeah. but everybody pretty much fixed everything. So everybody thought eh, it didn't happen, but there was a lot of work being done. Uh, been, been a huge video game fan all my life. Started with the Atari 2600 and currently I have a PS4 and an Xbox One. I can play most games, but 3D shooters are really hard for me to play. Mm. So there must be... Um, to, to use like both vi vision in both your eyes. Well, 3D shooters, it's not, oh, oh, oh. Uh, I'm, I guess I'm guessing he's not talking about actual 3D, like VR. Um, he's talking about um, first person perspective shooters. Oh, jeez. Uh, there we go. <laughs> that was a hard level. In the early 2000s, <laughs> I, I worked for Advanced Media and Combo Writing Reviews for the Game Boy Advance and later the DS. Or maybe he's talking about, like, the 3DS, like, actual 3D. So that's possible. Yeah, it does get hard fast. Oh, my God. So well, you don't die when you hit them? You just uh, lose a bit of I life? I think you lose... Do you lose some of your fuel? Oh, my God. Oh, maybe it's an up and down thing. I haven't been watching the game yet. I haven't... I haven't... I, I'm too focused on not hitting things on the screen to be looking at the fuel bar too much. Yeah. So wow. Five four one zero. Oh. That's pretty fun. That's your it gets first hard game? fast. Is that your first? Second. Game? Okay. Uh, it gets, but each level is quite short. Okay. So you like that was like the sixth or seventh level. Oh my god. Yeah. So you get through the levels really quick, which I kind of like because it feels like oh good okay I'm moving on. You're but you progress very quickly and then it moves really fast. So you can read from been to a few E threes. Okay. I will try this so, game. Uh, what was his name again? Uh, it's at the top. Oh, I died immediately. Do not hit the cars. Steven. Steven Wren Smith. Uh, so he mentioned that he's been to a few E3s, and I'd love to go to the Classic Gaming Expos. I hope Joe or Sean bring them back. Um, I am uh, married, surprisingly, <laughs> uh, after having so many invisible girlfriends. Haha. <laughs> um, <laughs> and he's writing still. Um, he oh, contributed great. to Brett Weiss's Super Nintendo Omnibus. Oh, great. And he's also working on a book, and I hope to one day finish it. Well, if you ever do, I'm sure we'll have a look at it here. Yes. And uh, I'm working on a new homebrew for the 2600, That and that is about it. Very cool. And he also mentions that he has a few health problems. He was born with Marfan Syndrome. Um, so he's been in and out of the hospital a few times, so that makes it a little difficult for him to finish his project. So okay. I'm very sorry to hear that. Yeah. Um, hopefully it's, uh, you're managing, uh, with dealing. I don't know that particular condition, so I don't know um, the details of it, but. I did look it up. Yeah. It, um, people have, like, extended, like, very long limbs. They're very tall. Um. Okay. It's. It makes it difficult on, I think, their joints or their bones. Okay. I think it's their joints because everything's so extended. Um, yeah. So they have, like, they're super tall, super long arms, long fingers, like that. Yeah. Mm. But I, that's as much as I, I, I remember from reading about it. Is there no sound in this? It's very quiet. Okay. Do you want to turn it up on the yeah, TV? Yeah, I don't think there was uh, much sound. Oh, yeah, I can see it on the computer, but can you turn up a little How, bit on where the do TV? I, is it on the, on the top of the Yeah, screen? top. It's the second and third buttons. Sure. So, there you go. Good. Oh, yeah, there yeah. we go. Now you can hear it. There's a nice road noise sound. Er... You have to hit the button. Oh, <laughs> I'm just collecting points. Yeah, no, there's some sound. We weren't hearing any sound from the oh. last couple of games. Hopefully everybody out there can hear it yeah, enough. Yeah, or could hear Might something. Might be low. I don't know. This level's not too bad. <laughs> oh, now they're at the bottom. This one's pretty easy. Oh, 
Ah! Oh, now I can go. Okay. Yeah, once those two red cars suddenly flash up, you can go. That's that oh, the means red your cars fuel your is... fuel level has has reached its uh, maximum. So. Okay. So yeah, that's why you do progress pretty quickly. Um, you get enough fuel. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Whoa! Now now it's it gets fast. fast. I don't even know what level I'm on. Whoa! I think I got. I think I died on this level or the level the after white? it. Yeah. Yeah. I I had a hard time. Everything moving. Controlling really fast, controlling huh? my car to get it to the the fuels. So. Oh. Is this run... one or the next one? I can't remember. Oh my god. There you go. Good job. Yeah, I guess you. I think you just. Whoa! Yeah. Yeah. Whoa, this whoa, one is whoa. where it, it got a little a little crazy. Ah! Ah! Yeah. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> God. Yeah, that ramps up quick. Interesting game. Mm. Um, I mean, if I was legally blind, I don't know if I could make a game. That's a challenge. Yeah, that is um, challenging. There's not much to it. That's. It's simple. It is very, very simple. It just reminds me of like the old Atari games that were just like dodging something. Yeah. Or collecting yeah. things. But I mean, it's it's fun in that any game like that that kind of you, you ramp driving, up yes. huh. yeah you ramp up quickly it, it does it progresses it feels good and you want to kind of go back to it and keep trying so yes. I, I liked it i thought it was yeah it's nice you've got the fuel you've got the cars that's yeah. you're dodging them um they start in straight lines they start moving towards you as 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 like the double cars will actually move towards you yeah as it gets harder um and i'm sure going up to higher levels either just i'm assuming Nightmare. it just keeps getting faster and faster <laughs> and faster but but no it's fun it was fun yeah yeah fun little game yeah not too bad you know i i don't know if i'd come back to it um it doesn't have a lot of variety i almost feel but... like the levels should be a little longer it should uh, yeah, be a little harder to get the fuel. Uh, not harder to get the fuel, but you get the fuel really quick and, and bounce up, whereas yeah. maybe the fuel should be less, more, a bit more sparse. Yeah, it was more about dodging yeah. things than getting fuel. The fuel was fairly easy, I guess, in the harder levels it On the wasn't. harder levels it wasn't, but yeah. um, it did feel pretty quick. Each level was pretty quick, Very so it quick. could be a little longer. But yeah, that would be I, about it. I, I, yeah, no, I thought I liked it. Yeah. yeah, maybe a couple more things to avoid or collect. Um, maybe lanes go away. Or having having um, other like another obstruction come after you yeah. or something. But I, and I don't know again the later levels if if obstruct obstructions come up. But uh, can't imagine anything no, I, more on those fast I, levels I, for the actual gameplay. It's, fun. it's got the basics. Yeah, yeah. it's fun. It it's. Uh, Oh, oh, I mean, it looks like a nice level. Yeah, it wasn't. It was still the same control. It wasn't slippery at the white no, levels. No, no, no. It, it was yeah. the same control. Maybe yeah. adding a day, night, evening. That would be cool. Yeah. Because some of the old games yeah. went to just headlights. yeah. I don't know if you played some of those old games when it got dark. Oh, you just turn into two yellow headlights. And that was kind of cool. Oh, yeah. Uh, or obstructions or obstructions that bring your fuel back down to zero, too. Yes. So so good. you're not you're not injured but your your you fuel goes down you have to start again. over again yeah yeah it does remind me of old driving carts in D500 yeah. slot racer where you're just just driving trying to get to a certain distance mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. not too bad fun though yeah yeah fun little pretty game pretty impressive yeah next one is let me just switch it right here so I don't forget to switch back Give me my pancake. A great name for oh, a game. Oh no, it's a zip file. And I only put the zip file on there. Oh no. <laughs> Please hold. Please hold. That would be nice if it did recognize zip files, but it does not. I've got everything plugged in here, so it shouldn't take me very long. Yep. <laughs> So this is the fifth game, fourth game. Where is it? There it is, pancake bin. Pancake dot bin. It's nice having a computer right next to you to do these things. Hold down the middle button, please. Pull down? Hold down the middle button? No, hold the button, the button. Sorry, I keep holding it. Keep <laughs> not holding hold it. down the joystick. Not pull down, okay. <laughs> 
Sorry. Oh, that's okay. There you go. Give it a second. I know I remember trying this one and it was a little flippy out in the beginning. There we go. That's a little loud. Turn that down. Turn it down here. Now this one has a very interesting style to it, and uh, okay. see if you can figure out what the style is that it's imitating. Oh, I might have to do reset. There you go. It looks like a game and watch to me. You got it. <laughs> it's a game and a watch. Uh, so give me my pancake by Sigmund Shouten. Shouten? Oh, I know I'm mispronouncing that. I know somebody with that last name. Uh, uh, you be, thank you for <laughs> distracting I, I, you. Yeah, I'm, I, I don't want to be distracted. <laughs> okay. Uh, AKA Mr. Dash Atari. Uh, this was, this version is from 2017, 1031. Uh, give me my pancake. My second game written for the Atari 2600 VCS. Uh, originally released October 27th, uh, 2017 to the attendees of Eurocon 2017 weekend. Feed the hungry dude. Old school game and watch like game. You are the waiter serving Mr. Atari. So that's Mr. Atari in the top left. He looks very similar to a character from um, Mule. I can't remember what the name of it. Uh, it was like an android character from Mule. Uh, let's see. You are the waiter serving Mr. Atari, and wow. he's a hungry dude. Your goal is to bounce as many pancakes as you can towards him. Sounds easy? Better think twice. Uh... Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> the bin file is multi-country. Select black and white for NTSC or color. Color for PAL? Oh, so we have it wrong. Interesting. Ooh. Doesn't look any different. Okay, maybe it's fine. Uh, oh, for for NTSC 7800 users, hold pause and press reset to start the game. Uh, NTSC mode is locked, and he has sold 92 copies according to his website of this game. Um, and it. Yes, I suppose it says the zipped contained the box art, the instructions, and everything to make your own release of the game itself. That is interesting. Let me look at the zip file of it. Give me my pancake. So yeah, it comes with a PDF. I don't know if you can see that on the screen. Let me see. Let me drag it over a little bit. There. <laughs> It's in the very tiny corner. But then there's the box art. And there's somebody online that does um, box uh, box printing that you can send it to him. And what else is in the zip file? It's got a top label, uh, another two different labels. Oh no, top label and the front label. The little wide label. And it's got the manual, and it's got the bin file. So you are, let's see, four challenging levels using the difficulty switches. You might be on a hard level. <laughs> it's hard, but it's fine. Uh, it, it ramps up fast. So left difficulty switch. Bonus feature every 50 points. A is none. No, you're on B. 50 points. Good, goodness. Can B I is remove points? one fallen pancake. So you're oh. on the easy level. For that this is not easy uh right difficulty switch speed and sequence a increase speed twice as fast no sequence reset when you drop a pancake b sequence is reset and speed reduced when you drop a pancake okay so you are on a slightly hard level yeah it's still i don't know if it's good. oh it says on the top of the screen bb, BB. yeah it does. oh that's nice. That is nice that's a nice addition uh there are three positions for the waiter cannot Cannot be that hard. It is. Yeah. That's how the game and watches it's, are. It's 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 the are hard. timing. So like you're literally off by one movement to get 
them all to work. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, you have to be right at the right time in yeah. the right position. Practice for sure. And there's there and, and there's tons coming down eventually, right? Tons of yeah. Pancakes. Well, they're all they're all moving t through the three positions. Mister Fix says it looks hard to me. Uh, it it is. Yeah. I mean these Game and Watches. I have a. One, how many? Seven of them up there? Seven of them? Uh, the very early ones are like this. Not my favorite types where you're bouncing things. There are so many bouncing things. And you're just moving back and forth or up and down. Some of the more, the newer ones, the more advanced ones were like shooting and you're moving all over the place. Oh my god. Yeah. It's very pattern based. Once you get up this high, it's like this, then this, then this, then this, then over here, then back again. Gameplay. Move left and right to bounce pancakes. The bounce is effective when you hear the high beep. So when it goes, Deet, that means you did touch it. So as soon as it is in the right position and you're also oh, there, it's mine. fine. Oh, it restarts them. So this level, you uh, lose all your pancakes when you lose one. And it starts again. It starts from the beginning. But you still have your points. Yes. Yeah, okay. Whereas the last one, it was like... You don't even have points. It says 15. Oh, six. Oh, it gets As your it gets points. To the end. It gets to Mr. Atari. The bounce is effective. Speed will increase gradually every 10 points. After dropping the fifth pancake, the game is over. Eggs. Uh, since this is my second game, I decided to include two Easter eggs. They change the gameplay or help you out. Can you find them? <laughs> if you do, don't post them on social media. Thanks. <laughs> Oh, I don't know how there would be. You only have three positions. How can there be Easter eggs? <laughs> can probably, you move up and down or probably, press a button? Probably. Um, wow, that's. I don't even know how you have any Easter eggs. Probably by reaching a certain score at a certain position. Maybe. Maybe you can move off the screen at some point, or move to the right, or up or down. Oh, yeah, it has a rolling score. Yeah, I supposed to says, uh, I like the rolling score. It reminds me of Enduro as a kid. Um, Enduro would be like a, a car racing game, so it'd be like your odometer rolling over, and this has the same effect. Oh, oh. timing's a bit off there. Now it starts over the beginning again. <laughs> Which is better than the other one? It's easier? Uh, well, because it you just lose all your pancakes all at once. <laughs> You would, you, yeah. you, you know, like it, that's the thing when you, when you screw up, all of a sudden your timing's off and then your timing's off for everything and then you just lose them all. So okay. If that makes sense. It, it, it gets really confusing really fast. Yeah. Cause let's see if I have something like this. Uh, this parachute, I think this one is very very similar this oh. this game parachute i don't know if you guys can see that yeah and it's very similar uh this is a game and watch which this is modeled after and uh, not this one but i think this one is a bouncing a bouncing style uh game uh all the rest are more advanced i have safe buster as well and that is two levels so that one's a bit more Oh, there we go. That one's a bit more advanced, where you can move up and down the levels. But this is just a left and right as well. So this one, this one might be similar. Then there's ones where, like Donkey Kong Jr. Fifty. Where it has all all four directions and a fire button. So the the early ones were very simple, but it moved on to. Oh. Um, more video gamey where you're moving all over the screen. I'm kind of getting tired of this. <laughs> <laughs> it's too easy? Well, because it restarts over again and it's like, ugh. Oh, ugh. oh, from the very beginning. Yeah, it starts over from the beginning. Maybe we shouldn't have that switch. Well, no, I mean, it's good. It's, it's how you get your score up, right? But it just becomes a bit boring. In emulation, the screen setting changed from tall to less tall. Oh, are you talking about enduro? Oh, okay. I'll let you play. Okay. Because <laughs> you're to... on the third pancake, and there's two more lives to go. Yeah, no. 
you can hand it over to me yeah, when I'm you just drop it. Die. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna let this one die, and you can start from the beginning. Uh, I'll do the harder one. Cause this one looks. The harder long one, you, you, and... you, yeah, you die pretty quick. You are fired. Yeah. I mean, that's always my thing with the game and watch. It's fun to a point, but I find you get bored with it relatively quickly. When it's the simple one. Yeah. yeah. Well, but even the more complex ones, I find them a little overly simple. They but are limited. They're fun, but they're fun for a short period of time. And that's what they were made for. They're yeah, made for traveling. Great. They were they were the first portable. Mm. First. There were ones before that. Yeah. Battery operated ones. But Battery operated like little calculator yeah, first type Nintendo games, ones. But, yeah. Oh. Oh my God. Yep. Yeah, it's not. Oh, and it just keeps going. Oh, yeah, this is better. Mm -hmm. The other one's just... Mm -hmm. <sighs> Bugs. Bugs? They'll fly. Where are the cats? The cats, that's, that's their, their job. sole purpose is... <laughs> hunting bugs. Bug hunting and purring, really. <laughs> and purring. And purring. And being fluffy. And being fluffy. Yeah, these are my... I'm sure they're all watching the... Figuring out the timing. It's the type of game it's good to watch because you figure out the timing of what uh, you should have done. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, it just continues. Like, you have one second to get the next pancake. Yeah. And there's there's certain points where you're oh literally... You have to time it here, here, here. And, and if you're off time... It's game over. It's like game this over. this one, four in a row. Yeah. And another stream is going to come. I yeah. Know. Oh, he's baking up some more pancakes this one isn't as bad it's that one after this we have to go back and forth back and forth oh, to get yes. each individual pancake because this you stay you stay one two three four and then you have to move really quickly i couldn't even yeah make you have it to in move time really quickly it's hard that one's tough yeah i'm gonna try it once more mm -hmm. but it's the it's fun if you easy. like this kind of game it's it's fun the game i do not game. like this type of game no <laughs> I hate and this. yet you have so many Game & Watches. Those are more advanced. I only have one terrible one. One terrible. <laughs> the other ones are better. I'm still looking for Super Mario Brothers and Zelda. Those are my There's two. Is a Zelda Game & Watch? Yeah. Yeah, like an is. old Zelda it's Game one & Watch? Of, it is old. Wow. Um, it's, it's a newer one. I think it's from the 90s. But it's not like modern. It's not, you know, within the past 20 years. Although it's completely um, irrational, I really am craving pancakes right now. <laughs> oh, we just had waffles for lunch. I know, lunch, we just had brunch. waffles for brunch, but still. Yeah, pancakes oh, are tasty. Oh, yeah. I mean, they're bread. They're just different yeah, type of bread. Yeah, they're sweet. Because mm. there's syrup on them. A little bit of syrup, <laughs> a little bit of... Anyway, I don't know why, but now I want more pancakes. Mm. I was going to make pasta tonight, though, so... Well, we're not mm. going to have pancakes for dinner. After no. having waffles for lunch. Ah, back and ah, forth. This is ah, when you have to go back ah, and forth. Yeah. That one first. One, two, next, one, next, two, next, one, next, two. next. Oh, okay. That one. It's fairly random because that didn't happen so early in my game last time. This happened first. Yeah, but you you screwed up a, bit, a big part of it, and oh, the pancakes disappear when you screw them up. So must have reset. It doesn't reset the whole level. It just yeah. you lose a pancake. You lose the pancake in the game. You have to move. It literally so fast it, there, like boom, boom. Once it's down, you move. If that makes sense. Yeah. There, you can move like. Deep. 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 Yeah. Had fire pinball. Oh, I, that's yeah. on my list. Fire pinball. That one looks good. I love pinball. Ah. Oh no. Doing better than last time. So this is a better game option. The other one's way too easy. Uh You have to move almost uh, as it's Oh my god. You can't convince me waffles are the same ingredients as pancakes. <laughs> they are not usually. No, no, they're a little they different. They need to rise differently. They they usually have a they're usually slightly different, but Yeah. yeah. They can be. Yeah. But then you'll get pancaking pancake well, tasting waffles or waffle tasting pancakes 
And um, because they need to cook. And you need the right waffler. And we were discussing with our friend today because we were at a friend's who who was making the waffles. Yeah. Um, and like you really want one of those waffle irons that flips over because it coats the iron and then it gets fluffy on the inside. Whereas if you have the ones that just close, you don't get the same consistency. Yes. The ones that flip over. Yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, waff, anyway. Waff cakes. Waff cakes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, but like traditional pancakes, I didn't realize, like we usually use mixes and we don't yes. use egg cause you don't eat egg. Yeah. Um, but traditional pancakes are almost like omelets like they have a lot of eggs and a little bit of flour oh not a lot of flour and very little binder mm. so traditional more traditionally they 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 yeah they tend to have a lot more a lot more egg in them but so i think that that is a Got great a little off topic there yeah. that's <laughs> talking a, about pancakes. a great version of a game and watch yeah it's for great 2, it, is, yeah. it replicates it perfectly i almost want someone to make all the game and watches for the 2600 like you almost could because they're so yeah, simple they i don't know if you could but you just, could that would be a pretty fun some uh, of the project to... some of the easier ones they do get more complicated with that's a lot true. on screen yeah. but i would say 90 percent you could easily do yeah. with just the basics um, but now there's very advanced 2600 games, so yeah. you, you can make all of them, but yeah. just how well. That's kind of fun. So I don't like that type of game, it's, but it's, if you do like it, I think that's a great version of it. It's a fun game, and there's this element of anxiety and stress of like trying to get all the, keep all the pancakes in the oh air. Oh my god, yes. Yeah, but yeah. no. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> Um, so great, great job, Mr. Atari. Yeah. And um, the next one is also by Mr. Atari. Excellent. Uh, it's Defend Your Castle. Uh, so let's load that up. Oh, sorry. Oh, he sometimes protests. He's like, he I protests don't getting want picked to be up. picked up. No, I, I came to do something else, not to be picked up. Oh, in I don't think I held that long enough. Stay I did. Are you, you going to stay? So are you Defend stay? Your Castle. Oh. Are you NTSC stay? only? Sure. Yeah. You want to see that very nice title screen. <laughs> there we go. Oh, got some music. Very nice music. Mm -hmm. By Mr. Atari 2016. Oh, God. This one is from 2016, 12 24, so he released it just in time for the holidays. My first game. So, this is his first game. Uh, the other one was his second game. This game is free to use for personal usage. Released 20, 24th of December 2016. Battle for the Kingdom, a fast and funny two-player game. Okay, he changed the name, I guess. At some point, it used to be called Battle for the, for the Kingdom. Just turn that down a bit. Funny and fast, fast two-player game. So we do need two joysticks. You're operating the Catapult, uh, Defender of Your Castle. Your goal is to destroy the opponent's castle before he destroys yours. Mm. That's a great graphic. That's a really good castle. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. I like the colors too. Yeah. A nice mix really of nice. colors on the screen. Yeah. Um, that's all the instructions I have here. Uh, box manual and labels with ni nice 1970s artwork featuring Castle Liverpool on the box. And the box can be printed out at any coffee shop, so it's a very sa similar release as his other one. Okay. Where he gives you all the things you need to make your own cartridge. Nice. So you can print it nice. out. Yeah. So, I guess we have to use this game reset. Okay. Okay. I know what this is about. Oh. oh it's a catapult, not a trebuchet. Wait. I'm confused. About? I just hit my own is that my own cat <laughs> yes you're devastating your own castle am i oh now you're throwing it in the water oh i gotcha how did you the longer you hold it the higher it goes or further it goes i'm confused so oh. Uh, uh, oh so i've basically destroyed my own castle um almost <laughs> which doesn't really bother me Oh, I see. You can't you can't throw another shot until it's in the air. Until it's done, yeah. One at a time. Oh, so the the point is to destroy the other castle, or to destroy the other person. I'm guessing it's castle. to destroy the other castle. Okay. But it does it does. Ah. It, 
doesn't give me any points. Like, it's a zero zero right now, right? Yeah, because no, we haven't destroyed the other castle. Very interesting timing. There we oh, go. Oh, you got me. Okay, so that's how you get a point. Oh, too far. But you don't get... I guess it delays you for a bit if you hit the other person, because that delayed... Yeah. But not long, so it's not really that much of a penalty. It's more like a bonus. There we go. It's hard to get the... Yeah, the... Um... The timing. But, I mean, it shouldn't be easy. You think there's some randomness to it, too? No. Ugh. Can't hear them? Here, I'll turn it up a bit. Yeah, the music was really high, so I wanted to turn that down. Should be able to hear them now. It's like... Burr up, burr up, burr up. <laughs> ah, did I just shoot my yes, own? Yes, you did. It wrapped around? Yeah, it does. Oh my god, so don't, sh don't, don't throw it too overshoot. far. Don't overshoot. The world is very short. It's a oh. tiny world. That's gonna get so me. It's a little prince world. <laughs> know that French book? Yep. Where the I planets do. are super tiny. <laughs> I remember the cartoon too. There's a cartoon of it? You never saw that cartoon? No. Uh, it was a French cartoon. Ah! Ha <laughs> uh, It was a French cartoon because uh, I grew up in Ontario. It used to play on very TV bilingual. Ontario. And they used to have both the English and French version. Oh, it's your version. fault! <laughs> Darn you had button. It, you had it muted? Oh, you can't hear them, like, in us. I mean, this, the sound effects needed to be turned up anyway. Sorry! Continue with your... No, nope, Little story. Prince. We were just talking about the Little Prince. I remember the cartoon. I also had the book, I think, in English and in French. Yeah. Growing up, so... Oh, I suppose to has the book in French. Yeah! Nice. Ah, oh, I just, oh, I hit killed my castle, then myself. Good job. If you tap the button, you will shoot yourself. Oh. Woo! Le petit prince. Le petit prince. Prince. Oh. Shot your castle yeah, right off the yeah, bat. I, I held it for, like, too long. Ow. I gotcha. There we go. I'm getting the hang of yeah. shooting the other castle. I tend to be a little short a lot. Yeah. There we go. Usually it's short. Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah. It's like sometimes I've, I've held it for too long. I think there's some randomness to it. I don't know. But there's no indicator of like a strength meter anywhere. You kind of. No, you, you have, have to, to kind of it. figure it out on your own. Most games I've played like this have a strength meter, you know, like golf or something, where it's like, you know, you're. But that would be unfair because then you would just go, yep, that that every time. It is a little unfair. So this is a better way of doing it. The movement is really nice in this. Of the ball and your uh, catapult. Oh jeez, why is it going so far? And the colors are great too. Oh, one more. Yes, now I'm pulling oh, ahead. No. I'm not even moving. Like there's no point in moving. Like why oh. would you move? Because if you move, you have to time it again. If you don't move, you just... But don't you find that timing hard? It is. Like, it's very... It's random, for sure. There's a little bit of randomness. I feel like I'm holding it just the tiniest touch more. I think I ricocheted off you <laughs> and onto my castle. Oh, Mr. Frick says uh, his laptop likes to do things by itself. That's why he was muted. See, oh, way too like hard. Way! It's like one extreme to the other. But that's what makes it challenging. Yeah. Ugh. Come on. It's like they're building the trebuchet back up. On, I mean the catapult. Too much, too many trebuchet memes. Thinking of trebuchet. Color, the colors are really nice yeah, on this. Yeah, really nice. Really, great really nice. Great sky colors, great ground colors. The very nice shade of brown. Um, that is what the Atari excels at with 128 colors. Yeah. It was way ahead of its time. 
other game systems are like eight colors, maybe 16, but you had to cut down on the resolution on the screen because other systems, you had to keep the whole screen in memory before you drew it. And you had, you know, a meg of, of video data. So, or 512 or something. Wow, that was quick. Or 512 or whatever. And you had to balance between color and resolution. So you could say, oh, really high res, but only in black and white or whatever. Or you could go to four color and then get half the resolution again. Or eight color and get half the resolution again. Ah. But the 2600, you could at any moment, at any time, pick another color. You didn't have to wait for anything because the 2600 drew it as it went. So you're like, oh, different color, different color, different color. If you had the programming time to change the color, no problem. So every line, every every time you drew something, you could pick another color. So they held the ground for color till like the mid 80s for consoles. Uh, like even the NES. Did I win? Yay! Yeah, I like that the little rainbow guy. Aww. I have the white flag. I, this is pretty cute. I like it this game. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so let me read the instructions for different variations. Sure. It feels what I like about it is the play and the the throwing of the trebuchet feels just a little bit unstable enough that it it's not easy you yeah, know you can't do it you push a little bit harder and then it you know you would think you would just get used to it and then nope <laughs> no uh three challenging levels wind or no wind uh we haven't experienced wind i don't think. No. uh number of castles to defend oh mm. okay that five more right? than yeah uh wind up speed of the catapult so uh. gameplay first number to defend the number of castles wind wins yeah um, <laughs> no, I didn't, just didn't get enough sleep. <laughs> Press the button to wind up the catapult. We got that. Release yeah. button to shoot the boulder. Yep. Left, right to move the catapult. Yeah. Up, down to change the angle. Oh. We did not do that. Or I, I was I not playing with the up, down. Catapult. The longer you press, the more you wind up the catapult to give more power. Yep. You can dodge the opponent's boulders by moving left to right. Yeah. Good luck with that. They come there down three, really fast. There are three catapult angles. Oh, okay. Yeah. Three. Uh, game and music. Oh, instruction seat. Black and white to switch your TV format. Uh, color for PAL, so I have it set correctly last time. This time. Press select to change the game mode. Wind or known wind? Visual. Number of castles to defend. So how do I do that? Press select. Oh, select. Oh, okay. You can just do it. Okay, so let's uh, try to get this whole thing on the screen. Catapult wind up screen. There we go. Speed. Okay, mm. so let's go back to the game select. Oh. Ooh. S7, M7, F7, what? S1, what? What? <laughs> I don't know what these mean. They're not in the manual. So there's Can... wind, number of castles, and catapult wind-up speed. Slow, medium, fast. So S, M, F. And, okay, slow, medium, fast. Got that. And then there's three. That must be the castles to defend. But no, where is no, it's wind? cycling through one, three, five. Slow, medium, fast, slow, medium, fast, slow, medium. Fast. Yes, yeah. But where's the wind? Oh, I... oh, see at the top, the the, yeah. the clouds are moving with wind. Okay, so let's do a three castle with wind. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah, yeah. And catapult wind up speed. What do you do? Medium. I don't know what it was before. We'll medium. do medium. Three, medium. There we go. So three, medium, and the clouds. And wind. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh the clouds are moving nice. now. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah, we were definitely on slow wind-up speed. Because that's faster, do you think? Oh, the wind. Oh, yeah. 
Oh yeah, you have the advantage. Mine are not making it over there. Oh, what? We hit mid-air. Our boulders hit mid-air. Did you see that? Yeah. Ooh, very hard with the wind. It's not making it there. Oh, I supposed to say I just downloaded instructions and opened as you started reading. We're in sync. <laughs> <laughs> Shots. Of course, it makes it harder for you because you overshoot. Right? Yeah. Has the wind changed direction yet? Or pretty, pretty steady. Oh, I just hit my own castle before it I restarted. Oh no. That's not fair. Before you restarted? Yeah. So now the wind is nothing. Okay. So okay. it's probably one way or the other or nothing. I'm, oh I'm, no! You know what it is? Is sometimes I think it's reset and I hit the button, but it hasn't yet. Well, so there's the angle. Yeah, that's what I've been playing. Oh, okay. Oh my god! Oh, oh we hit each How other's boulders again. How did you manage again. that? Very lucky. Come on, fast. Uh, I think I'm gonna take it up the angle a bit. There we go. That's better. Not as long of a press. There we go. Ugh. Come on. There we go. One more to go. Yeah, once you get the, the timing, it's not kind too bad. Kind of. But I mean, it, I, I find the timing too. doesn't always work out the way it, you would... No, it doesn't. It's it's. There's a little bit of randomness to it. Like I feel like my button presses sometimes seem to be exactly the same, and yet I'm getting different throws for it. So. Oh yes, the line under uh, your character is. Is the your angle. Is the angle so? So right now we're both shooting very high at a very high angle. But you're at the highest one. Yeah. I'm in medium. Yeah. Uh, the low is too low, I find. Well, it, it's. You it's, start hitting your own castle. It's only good if you're trying to shoot straight across. Da, 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 da. <laughs> awesome. How come you get fine. a flag? Oh, surrender. I'm a, I'm a surrender flag. Yeah, yeah. That is really good. Yeah, it is fun. good. It's, it's a fun. simple game. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's great, actually. Yeah. <laughs> great graphics. Yeah. Great colors. Great music. Simple. A simple and a good two-player game. Yeah. Yeah. So, pfft. I, I yeah. highly recommend yeah. getting that one. That's Very for fun. sure. Um, so that's it. That's that the we've five run out games. Of games. Yeah. No, it's good timing. Yeah. Actually, we're right at the end. Yeah, that's true. Um, so let me just go through the games again. There we are. So we played Pickle, Dragon, Racer, Road Duel, Give Me My Pancake, and Defend Your Castle. Mm -hmm. And they were a lot better than I thought they would be. Like looking at them and sh playing them for like a couple seconds, like well, the way them you on the had show. hyped it up to me <laughs> was that they would be terrible or or or, or that they were I, really undervalued, you know. So so well, I wasn't expecting the best necessarily, no, but they were all good games in their own right. Like they yes. they I'm not saying they were all perfect games, but they they were all fun to play. Like I, I never felt frustrated playing any of them. Well, there was a bit of frustration with pickle at the beginning. But he did say, yeah. make sure you read all yeah. of and the... And when you go to the, that final selection, difficulty, whatever you want to call it, that was much better. I enjoyed that. I, I felt like that made more sense to me than this this guy who's running who can't, can only go halfway down and you're waiting for someone to throw and then it gets really confusing. Um, it took some time to get used to Pickle. Yeah. Um, and then the racing game was a little simplistic, but... But still fun to play. So I, I think Especially they were all, all the fun options. in their own right. I like the chasing game, the the running and catching the gems. That it was, was a really the, cute. Was it was a really nice. Racer. The dragon racer was a really fun. Yeah, great controls on that. Yeah, one. and and the fact but great. you have some momentum and some slidiness um, does make it make it make it more challenging. So um, yeah. Uh, yeah, road duel. That was not my least favorite game. Yeah, just because of the simplicity of it. Ah. It is a complete game. It's playable. 
I it's... think I found I found Pickle more frustrating than Road Duel. I enjoyed playing Road Duel. It just it ramped up, it got hard, and then you died. <laughs> yes. But uh, I didn't dislike it. Um, no, I didn't hate it. It was I, just too simplistic for me. I just found Pickle frustrating at the beginning because I was trying <laughs> to figure out what I was, what my goal was. Yeah. Um, and and this one, I think the the what is it? Castle, defend your castle. Defend your castle. Defend yeah. your castle uh, is pr is really nice looking. It's, it's of all of them, probably looks the most be like has the nicest look to it. It does definitely. Um, and and just with using taking advantage of all the colors, and yeah. even even your your winning guy here flashing different colors at the end, like little things like that, yeah. add a lot to the to the gameplay. So. Ice Post says, Road Duel is Batari basic. You can tell it better than beginning level user. Yeah. Be yeah, there's a look to... The Batari basic. Batari basics. Yeah, programming. If, if they don't get too in-depth with it, because mm. there's like... it's You can do plug and play. It's like, oh, make your character. Mm. Make your screen. Now make it move. Mm. <laughs> so you can easily make a game. But yeah. you can also make very advanced games. Yes. Um, with Batari Basic, I've played some pretty advanced games. Yeah. Um, what's our, what's my favorite? Um, oh, Road Duel's Batari Basic. All the others were Assembly. Assembly, gotcha. Okay, okay. Yep, yep. Oh, what's my favorite? Um, it's either this one, um... Or Dragon Racer. I was going to say those are my two favorites of the five we've played. For, for gameplay, they're um, really good. This one, I can just see playing it over and over and over again with people, with other people. Yeah, it's got a lot uh, of options. And, and, and not getting tired of it because... It, the control of it is not easy to master. Like you, you'll have one round and it's like, okay, I'm getting it every single time and I, I, I get your castle. And then you start playing with the angles and then you get thrown right off. And then, so yeah. so there's there's a challenge. It's, it's actually challenging to get it to go. It is. To, to get that trebuchet to throw the rock in the right direction. And then you have the wind. And so I feel like there's enough complexity to it that you can play it a lot. It, it's fun. Yeah, it's yeah. fun. What um, what they could do with this, uh, sorry to interrupt you. Yeah. <laughs> while we're still on this talking about this game, yeah. is you you've played Worms, before. It you're a little worm and you're basically doing this, shooting at other worms. Oh oh, Worms that game worms. yes yeah yeah it's basically Worms. Um this this could be <laughs> sort up, of this could be upgraded, to Worms level, by you know collecting, uh, upgrades and different weapons. And and worms you can that's move getting, around. That's getting pretty, getting more complex for sure. But it to could totally do it. Yeah. Like instead of just moving back and forth where you are. Yeah. You can move further or go up a hill, or go into somewhere. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I mean, worms is turn based. This is real time. Yeah. Yeah. So no, is this is a little different. different. Yeah. But I could see somebody making worms. Which yeah. I don't think has been done no, on the 2600. Could, Somebody could correct me. Something like that. Oh, that would yeah, be a fun game. Like oh, that. my God. Yeah. <laughs> Especially if you made it four player uh, once a splitter comes out. Yeah. Sorry, uh, Dragon Race is a good looking B basic game. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It yeah. is. Yeah. It, is. it was a very It was good, good. It was fun. It was a good, fun, fun game. So, what is your favorite? I couldn't. Pick. I would say between the two, I like Dragon Race and I liked Defend Your Castle. I think those two you can't are. Can't pick. No. Uh, they just have. They're just different. They're different. Yeah. yeah. Um, this one definitely, f for how it looks, is sharp. And I think yes. if between the two, f for they're looks, both two-player games, yes. uh, or have the option. I mean, this one doesn't have AI. This is strictly a two-player yes. game. Yes. Um, it could fairly easily have AI. Like it could just go, oh, I messed. I yeah. Kind of, kind of a random. Judge it very random. Um, I make it. I make a harder one where it's better at it. I think I like. It's tough because this one you have to have two people to play. Yeah. Versus the dragon racer, you can play on your own. You can play against the AI. Yeah. So, so there's there's your trade off there. But this one probably would win if there was an AI component to it, and you could play it on your own. Uh, Maybe a little, but I, I like I'm, the two player. I'm gonna yeah. have to go with dragon racer just because it has yeah. more complexity to it. Like you can shoot the other person. It's not as good looking as this really? game. Really, I think I'm more on this on this game, and okay. I think just for the look of it, and also it was quite. 
fun to play. Yeah. It's a lot of fun to play. I mean, normally so, I don't like to say this is the best game no, because they're I, all so different. They all have they all have their strengths too. I think. Yeah. Yeah. It depends what you want to play that day. Yeah. Or or what you like. like yeah. I mean, give me my pancake. If you like Game and Watches, it's a great Game and Watch and game. And it's it's challenging. Oh my God! Yes. It's very challenging. So. Oh, hello, um, Mao 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 Games. <laughs> <laughs> Mao Mao. Sound like games. a kitty. Yeah. A video game kitty. Mow, mow. Yeah. Um, yeah, he's been in here before. Yep. So that is the roundup of overlooked games because oh. they didn't get a lot of... That's why I put them on here because they didn't get a lot of attention yep. in the forums. And um, I thought, hey, you know, give them a go. And I, they're way better than I thought they would be. And I did downplay yeah. them to you. You did downplay like, them to okay, me. So I wasn't we're gonna, really sure what kind of We're going to play some uh, basic games we today. Gonna we're going to play some really simple ones. Didn't get a lot of attention, but uh, Dragon Racer was born June second, two thousand eighteen. Wow, that's a that's really that new. That is a very new game. Yeah. I did I have a note of that? I didn't know it was that uh, that new. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. So I, I think we'll do this again, this type of show, where it's mm -hmm. you know games that Some didn't get a lot games. of attention. Yeah. Because. I we saw a lot of good in these games and maybe and some people are saying oh they look great mm -hmm. so I'm glad to give exposure to these programmers mm -hmm. that you know maybe don't get uh, because people might look at a screenshot and go nah this looks simplistic but gameplay always wins over, yeah, it does. over graphics yeah I find and looking at a screenshot doesn't do it so maybe having a video like this out would help and they can post this video and say oh go to timestamp blah and uh definitely with uh pickle go to the end of our playthrough yeah, of yeah. Pickle, <laughs> because the defaults of bb are not what you want to be playing that's a frustrating mix yeah. of terribleness yeah uh aa is the is is, is, is the version yeah. you want to play yeah that's that's fine um so uh the next um uh, edition of the show let me just look up what we are going to be playing it is i think it's a playthrough of a game um a star on wednesday mm -hmm. um erilyn might be here okay. he may not be i might be here then yeah <laughs> i'm sure you wouldn't be opposed to playing that game no nope, give nope. it a full playthrough yeah that's um a puzzle game moving around getting pieces in yeah, a certain yeah. order that was fun. yeah that, that was, was fun, fun. so we're gonna try and that. do as many levels as we can okay. on that one to try and show as many as we can yeah think. try yeah. and show yeah good so that'll be fun that's a uh wednesday um 7 p.m unless something changes <laughs> which it shouldn't but it might it's pretty wednesdays are pretty good they're pretty solid um mau mau games very great to see this kind of show i often miss fun things in the forums well, we have fun playing the show, uh, playing the games on the show, and um, yeah, people seem to like it too. Yeah. Definitely good show. Love the show as always. Well, yeah. thank you very yeah, much. Yeah. <laughs> I try and make themed shows yeah. so that all of them kind of fit together and uh, make them fun mm -hmm. as well. And I enjoy, I enjoy, even though I have not nearly as, as much knowledge of how these games are made. I have as, about this as, much. as you <laughs> and a lot of a lot of the people who are in the chat, um, it's still just fun to play them yeah <laughs> so it is i just enjoy fun. enjoy uh having the excuse to play uh atari games for yeah. a couple of hours so and there yeah. isn't uh as far as i know another homebrew atari atari yeah. i mean that's a very small niche but yeah a, a homebrew atari um stream yeah so i thought you know make a homebrew atari show <laughs> there are definitely enough homebrew games to yeah. fill it forever yeah um so and i've got a huge stack behind me to get through as well Cool. Um, so if you know some homebrew games that need some love, just like for this show, um, send me a message in the forums or you can email me, james at zeropagehomebrew.com or you can catch me on all of the social media. We're on Facebook, Instagram, mm -hmm. Twitter. Uh, what other ones are there? I guess there's also uh, Twitch that we broadcast through. Mm -hmm. Make sure you subscribe to YouTube and give us some love, whatever it's called on Twitch. Yeah. <laughs> um, follow. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, then you keep updated for when new shows will come out and you can communicate with me that way. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. So we're done this show. Thanks a, for watching. Yeah. Have a great weekend. Yeah. And we're having a lovely weather here. So I'm hoping Beautiful. you're having nice weather wherever you are. And yeah. Uh, 
See you on Wednesday. See you on Wednesday. Wednesday, 7 p.m. Pacific time, 10 p.m. Eastern time. Okay. So bye-bye. Thanks for watching Zero bye. Page Homebrew. Bye-bye. And bye to Mau Mau Games, Mr. Fix, Ice Posta. And everyone else who's been chatting in, in, in the chat today. Lord Monkus. Yes. Uh, EA Smith One, who was the programmer yep. for our Pickle. Thanks for dropping in. Uh, yep, and that's the people who talked. There's always yeah. there's always other people who don't yeah. talk. And 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 uh, have a good weekend, all the lurkers out there too. Yes. So, all, <laughs> yeah. Bye bye to the lurkers. Yeah. See you next time. Yeah. Bye bye. bye.